For we begin a journey with Archangel Michael for the ecstasy of sacred love. So make yourself very comfortable. Nice slow breathing. Beloved Masters, we ask you to pause for a moment and turn inward as you quickly move into your sacred heart center. Take a deep breath and tap into your sacred mind center as well. This is an integral part of the right hemisphere of the brain. Now ponder these questions. What is it that you yearn for above all these things? What is missing from your life that affects everything you think, feel and do? The answer is sacred love, dear hearts. We do not mean love as you now experience it in the physical realm, but the sacred love of your twin flame, your soul family, in the higher realms, your wondrous angelic friends, the great beings of light, our Mother, Father God, and the Supreme Creator. That is what is missing and what you have yearned for since you left your lofty home among the stars and divided yourself into two sparks of individualized awareness. One masculine spark and one feminine spark of divine consciousness so that you could reflect and experience the glory and diversity of our Father Mother God. In the past we have explained how you agreed to separate from your sacred partner in order to fulfill your divine mission. How you have taken turns in assuming a masculine or feminine body and how most often one of you stayed in the higher realms while the other incarnated in the physical expression. Rarely were you given an opportunity to meet in the physical world However, there were wondrous times in the higher dimensions when you allowed to join together for a time of joyous reunion for an infusion of loving ecstasy, a blending of your essence, a remembrance of what you left behind and a vision of what you have to look forward to in the future. This wondrous gift has not been available to you since you sank into the density of the third, fourth dimension expression until now. We have spoken much about the purity of unconditional love, which was encoded within your Adam-Eve kingdom light body. As you journeyed forth, as a missionaries for your father, mother, God, and how it became distorted by the physical, ego, desired body. As you sank into the density and the broad sink, sink spectrum of duality in the third, fourth dimensional experience. It was not ordained that you should lose touch with the sacred love of your mother, father, God, and the Creator, just as it was not planned for you to forget your lineage and your divine heritage. As you began your journey into the density of the third and fourth dimension, the veil of forgetfulness was placed over your memory. It was not meant as a punishment, but as an act of mercy for it would have been overwhelmingly painful to remember the negativity of your past incarnations, 
and very confusing to have access to your many experiences in the higher realms of consciousness. Remember, in most of your past incarnations in the physical realm, you brought very little of your God consciousness with you, and most human beings have been functioning within the lower levels of brain consciousness. That has now changed, and we have explained in the past. You have all the virtues of God. No matter where you chose to incarnate on the spectrum of light and shadow in this lifetime, it is not where you belong. You chose your family lineage, your physical vessel, and the circumstances of your life. It was decided with the help of your angelic guides and guardian angels what the best overall experiences would be to assist you to heal old negative thought patterns and resolve ancient karmic issues in order to return to balance and harmony and attain self-mastery once more. We have told you that you have encoded within your DNA and divine blueprint all the virtues, attributes, qualities and aspects of our Mother Father God. You are an electromagnetic force field, an energetic package of divine light substance. Encoded within each of you is the ecstasy and bliss of sacred love and a cosmic orgasmic experience beyond anything you can imagine in the physical expression. Opening and attuning to the physical sacred heart center is just the beginning. It prepares you for the multi-level reunification process whereby you gradually reconnect with the many facets of yourself. Many of you are now comfortable with the concept of communing with us, your unseen friends and companions of the higher realms. Now a most wondrous gift is being offered to you the ability to reconnect with your twin flame and to experience the ecstasy of sacred love. No longer do you have to feel lonely or hunger for the loving acceptance and the validation of your worthiness. No longer do you have to yearn for fulfillment and desire someone in the physical to reflect back to you your beauty or give you a sense of belonging. Our Mother Father God has been waiting for the time when it can offer you this gift beyond comparison. When we speak of returning to oneness we mean that in the greatest sense as well as in the many subtle levels of integration in the physical realm. So reconnecting with your twin flame now. So how do you go about connecting with your twin flame? First, you must say yes to sacred love. You must desire this connection with all of your being. You must open your mind and heart to the concept that you have a twin flame and that it is possible to reconnect with it. Go into your pyramid of light. Lie on the crystal table. Now move into your sacred heart center and allow the sacred love and light of our Mother, Father God and the Creator 
to pour forth and fill you to overflowing. Send out the call to your twin flame and ask him or her to join with you. Speak with words of love that fill your heart and mind. And then listen for an answer. Know that you will receive an answer. However, do not put any conditions as to how and when it will happen. Just know when the time is right, your beloved will appear. Your connection in spirit form will be a very personal happening, unique and precious to you and your beloved. Open your heart to all the possibilities of sacred love and know that it is your divine birthright to experience this most intimate gift. You do not have to share your experience with others, but know that those around you will begin to feel the difference in you and will respond to your uplifted, loving nature. You do not have to journey alone. Many dear souls have agreed at a soul level to journey alone during this lifetime or to focus on their spiritual mission instead of seeking a mate or a close companion. We tell you, you do not have to complete your earthly journey alone nor do you have to wait until you transcend to experience the bliss of the higher realms. It is time for you to shed the filters and veils that have been placed over your memory and consciousness. It is time for you to remember who you are and all that you are. It is time of reunification of the highest order. Only a small minority of twin flames can be incarnated on earth at the same time. And it is sometimes ordained that they will find each other and make a connection. In such an instance, both halves of the whole agreed to incarnate at the same time to see how twin flames would progress together in the physical expression. Unless the two people involved are firmly on the path and are fairly balanced within, these unions do not result in the bliss state but bring more strife and unhappiness into their lives. There is often an obsession with each other that results in a situation in which they cannot live with, but cannot live without one another, for they have not learned the secret of sacred love and are still playing the game of duality and ego-driven love with many conditions. So going into your pyramid of light in the fifth dimension has prepared you for the new level of awareness and the many gifts of enlightenment that await you in the future. The cities of light has also accelerated the process of preparing you for the reunion with your twin flame. and also with many fragments of yourself that you left behind in the higher realms. 
many of you will experience doubt and perhaps some negative emotions regarding this concept of twin flame reunion and the possibility of cosmic orgasmic bliss. We tell you, beloveds, the feelings of love and the orgasmic union in the physical body pales in comparison to the bliss and ecstasy we experience in the higher realms. We are in a constant state of bliss, but the most precious gift of all is to merge with our divine complement blending our essence and all of who you are. At each higher dimensional level, the ecstasy state of sacred love is magnified. You as humans could not tolerate the power and magnificence of the Creator's sacred love that we experience constantly. Are you willing to test this new level of cosmic awareness? Are you ready to accept this divine gift that is now being offered to you? You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Your twin flame is waiting for you to put out the call. When you say yes to sacred love, you will feel a dramatic change in your sacred heart center as it prepares to receive the rarefied gift of sacred love sent forth from our Mother Father God. Your earthly life will change forever. Call on us and we will guide and assist you in every possible way. Know that I am with you always and that you are dearly loved. I am Archangel Michael at your service. I thank you for being on this journey with me today. Namaste.